Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're continuing on with our home with Sweet Home 3D and we are going to be showing how to capture lighting per room so we can then do some coding in Home Assistant. So with today's tutorial we'll be doing lighting, editing, editing with GIMP, a open source software. So join us on a step-by-step -step journey. Tune in. Alright, so you should have in front of you a home such as what you have in front of you. It's got walls, floors, fixtures, furnitures. The next thing we're going to be doing is adding a light source. To do so, we'll go to our 2D view. We'll go down to the light tab. And I've been using the halogen light source. We're going to drag it into our first room and we'll be taking photo of the whole house but with only these lights turned on to ensure no other lights are turned on on the bottom left you can see I've labeled where the lights are stored and they have been turned off and the only ones are the dead ones turned on this is because we're going to be turning the lights on and off for each room so when we do the coding, the transparent layer is going to be overlaid. So next we need to do is set up our image. To ensure every photo is taken in the same spot, we're going to store this position. It is done by right clicking, store point of view, and we're going to click on face underscore demo so when we move our plan around and we want to take a new photo we go to right click go to point of view and snaps back into place so let's go through and generate our first photo let's click on right click create photo and we're given a pop-up this is we're setting the width and the height in pixels so the settings you can see in front of you is will generate a 4k video correction a 4k 4k photo the quality is the best and next at the bottom we're specifying what date and time of the day this photo wants to be taken so you want to choose a time where you've got some sunlight and later in the day if you choose a time where it's too early you will not see your light source or it will be too bright so this will take a couple of tries depending on where you're, where you're staying if you're in Sydney you can use this setting here so let's click on generate, create. I'm going to fast forward the next part and you'll see how long it takes on a 4K setting. All right. And that is the first photo. That is five minutes for one photo. Next, what you do is click save and save as some somewhere. I'll give it a name. So next, what we'll do is for your second photo, you want to go down to your halogen light that you just added and untick it and move on to the next room. So, an example, we'll do it into our living space here. So let's go back to our 2D view and drag two halogen light sources or as many as you want to. Go back to your 3D image. Ensure it is ticked. 
we've uh, messed around the angle, so we're going to right click, go point of view, base demo, create photo, and click create. I'm not going to click create because I've already got it. So what you're going to do is create what you've just seen, light sources for individual rooms. And you should have something like this. Should have a photo for every room, including one base image with no lights on. So when you click on all your photos, the image stays the same, but the light source is different. So once I'm going to pause the video here for you guys, go through, create an image with a light source for every room. And once, once you're done, let's continue on. All right. So the next step, we're using this software called GIMP, G-I-M-P. I'll throw in um, the site below so everybody can download it. It is free and on every platform. You can use Photoshop or other ones, but not sure how you're going to do it on that software. So if you download this one for free, you can follow along. So what we're going to do is open up our first image. We're going to open up where we stored our initial images. And what we're going to do is create, we're going to take our base image, drag and drop it into the right. or drag and drop in the middle. All right, let me just make this a bit smaller. So we've got our base image. We're gonna go through and add all of our photos. So we've got dining, family room, and this will be enough for the demo. So what we'll do is click on the base, click right click and click add alpha channel. Um, okay, so you can see it now. Click um, add alpha channel. Next we go, see as, you, see as you can see the text has changed and you've got Dining and family in uppercase bold. We're going to do the same. Right click, add alpha channel, and family. Right click, add alpha channel. So now from the top, we're going to take away the locks. So we can't see anything. And we're going to go second from the top, base image will never be touched and we're going to be starting photos from all of them. So let's show the dining and what we want to do is using the lasso, lasso, whatever this tool is called, we're going to be capturing where the light is. So what I've done I've just taken big chunks so by taking bigger chunks it's going to look better however it's going to take a bit longer to load also depends on what specifications you're Home Assistant server has. So we're going to press enter on the keyboard. As you can see, the outline has changed a little bit. And we're going to invert it. So we're going to select everything that's not a light source. So 
So you go to select, invert, or control I. So now we've selected everything that is not a light source. And we're going to click delete. So this is what you should have captured. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to dim the photo, um, the photo brightness by changing the op opacity and say so yeah and I've set it to 50 all, all on one so this is one photo completed what you want to do is export it click on file click on export as and these are the ones I've exported make sure it's a PNG click export uh, let's just go binding underscore test sometimes the program can be buggy if you're clicking export and it's not working press enter you can choose the default settings but also add save thumbnail so you can see it easier and click on export and that is the first photo done so we want to hide it click on family room and show the photo next we'll click on Control A, select the whole photo, and we're going to do the same. My dining and family room are very similar. So click the lasso, lasso, and let's select this whole bunch click enter, invert it, select invert, delete the non-light source and let's change the transparency to 50 and let's export it, export as, so this is family underscore test and export so we're going to be doing this for every photo and on top of that one photo has to be fully transparent so pick any photo you've already done select all of it and just click delete and export it and we're calling it transparent which is literally an image of nothing at 50 percent so i'll show you what you should have in your folder we're going to have a base image um, then we we'll press next we've got the first image second image and etc every image how you want to see it with your light source and the last one which is a transparent one So that is all we've got time for today. Thank you for joining me. This was part two. And next week we'll have the final part of putting it all together in Home Assistant and doing all the coding.